bit of Bode. Yes, another bit of Bode. The purple pictography. This is my favourite, I think, of all of them. Because uh, it's so highly finished. I'll show you what I mean by that. So, purple pictography. This is work that dates back to about, what is it, the early 70s, this was. Look at that beautiful Bernie Wrightson. That's a pencil sketch. Gorgeous, right? Early 70s, about 71. Uh, Bernie Wrightson and Vaughan Bode team up to do strips. I think I think Bode did all the scripts, from what I heard. Uh, and he did... Bode would draw one. Obviously, this is Bode. And Bernie Wrightson would draw one. And they went into... Um, I think they were published in some men's magazine. If you know what I mean by that. And... Um, they're fantastic. Look how highly these are finished. So when I was talking about the finishing, the line work is beautiful. It's They're fully coloured. They're really nicely coloured. Uh, intricate. They're just beautiful. Really amazing. So, if you look at the colouring on this as well, the colouring is quite simple. Very straightforward. And he does the classic thing, gives you, uh, gives you a background, an early panel. Then he doesn't really bother with the background after that because you don't really need it in all the panels. Um, simple colours though. Again, get the Bode tropes of <laughs> ultra violence. So much violence. It is hilarious though. Spilt something on there. Looks like chocolate milkshake or something. Bad luck. Um, yeah, gorgeous. There's a lot of adult material in here, so I probably shouldn't linger, should I? Because um, I know how puritanical YouTube can be and that sort of stuff. So, um, and I'll try not to comment too much about the actual comment, <laughs> the the commentary within the uh, panels, and so you can read it for yourself. Um, look at those colours, colour schemes there, purple and green. Great colour combi, one, one that I employ myself quite regularly. So yeah, what a dream team, Vaughan Bode and Bernie Wrightson. Bernie Wrightson was best known, is best known now, he's dead now, he's died about five years ago. Um, best known for his comic book work in sort of more heavyweight stuff, I guess. Uh, look at that amazing, beautiful character. Could only be drawn by Vaughan Bode, couldn't she? Uh, yeah, Wrightson, mostly known for things like Swamp Thing. Aquaman, Batman, Green Lantern, those sorts of things. But he thought he'd try his hand. I'll show you the rights and stuff in a minute. So this is all Bode, obviously. Look how beautifully it's finished, though. It's it's like gorgeous, complete, completed comic art. Look at that the sea, the way he's illustrated the sea with the green and the light green. and It's exquisite, isn't it? And the composition, look at that, there. I never thought of doing that. And there, where you just see, you can see through the water at the bottom of the boat. Oh, God, it's great. So good. Okay, now we get into Wrightson stuff, so. You see, I mean, Bernie Wrightson as well. Look at, the, look at his use of colour. That car there, beautiful, that yellow and that sort of cool grey. And that, what, are that, what about that for a panel there? Gorgeous composition, you know, drawing us up there. Drawing us up here to the next panel. It's, oh, it's so clever. Gorgeous flesh tones and everything. Probably shouldn't linger. YouTube, ready to slap my wrist. Um... Yeah, fabulous, right? Really amazing. Back into a bit of uh, Bode here. I won't talk about the content, obviously. Just, you know, if you're interested, pause the video, have a read yourself. But again, look at how simple these panels are. But they're perfect. Compositionally and 
the dynamic, the, the sort of the fluid dynamic through it and everything. Oh, it's lovely. How simple those colours are as well. And those colours come out of nowhere. Suddenly he's into pinks. Look at all this. You've got, you primarily got, you know, blue, bit of beige, brown, orange. <laughs> Pops out straight away the orange and the green. Then you've got a pink panel there. With this bird there. Amazing. Big red one there. Incredible. Incredible. Just beautiful. And Wrightson obviously had a more complicated, more sort of um, intricate style. A lot more crosshatch, a lot more uh, loads, more sort of uh, variation in colour and shade and, and all that. They were great mates, Wrightson and, uh, and Bode. And their styles contrast just beautifully. But you'll, you'll see something in a second in this one, which I think is amazing. So look at this. He took Bode's, uh, Bode's style and he made this character, this mermaid character, Bernie Wrightson. And it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's a fantastic character. She's one of my favourite sort of iconic looking, looking right at us, right down the camera as well. Um, beautiful, iconic looking Bode-esque characters. You see as she's swimming around this diver and everything. She's just amazing looking, isn't she? Incredible. Really incredible. Frankenstein's monster. Oldie worldy London there. Yeah. His panels, these are all, you know, he's, he's used, I don't know what he used, watercolour or gouache or something to paint them. A load of spatter on there to show snow and everything. Look at those snowstorms. Again, I don't know how large they're working. It's probably only A4. So that panel, you know, those two faces in there, it's a great panel, isn't it? Look at that, you know, the, <laughs> I won't say that, I won't say what that says, but that is just amazing, isn't it? You can just, with the simplicity of line that you've got there, he's used it all in colour, he's done it with colour, rather than black line. He's created the whole world for us there. You see exactly what that is. Oh, and that's that early sketch. That one there. Goes back to that, uh, that one at the beginning. I'll just find it without wrecking the comment. That one. That's the pencil sketch. For that. Absolutely love it. So there you go. That's the purple pictography. I think this was um, I think this was released like late eighties, early nineties, something like that. Because they're, they're advertising these books, and you can't get these anymore. I mean, secondhand market, yeah, but you know, try and hunt it down in a shop. My God, good luck. Poem tunes. I've got this one as well. So this was a book that he put out. I don't know if I can do a flip of it though because I've got a mint condition one that I bought. Um, I had this on a t-shirt in about 91, 92. No, probably earlier than that. Actually, probably about 1990. Let's see uh, the cover of Poem Tunes. And uh, Bode's World. Just incredible. I hope you're getting as much out of this as uh, as I get out of them. Because, you know, there's no greater inspiration, I think, for a particularly, I know particularly sort of character artists, um, you get a bit from, uh, you know, you get that, that very sort of Bode-esque uh, font and all that kind of stuff. But it's all about characters, really. Classic rights and 
beautiful with the Bode, uh, the Bode-esque mermaid. And that, that as a Bode is just perfect, isn't it? Just absolutely perfect. This, this amazing background in there as well. Foreground, these little background characters that are right over there. It's a beautiful panel. Perfection to me. Inspirational. Uh, I hope you're inspired as well. Cheers.